<laughs> Hi, Rayas. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come and relax. And I'll read chat to you so you know what's going on. Is this desk hitting the camera? Obviously, to start with just a little bit of setup, it seems to be wobbling. Let me just move it slightly. Sorry, hold on to your hat. No, I have to move the whole table in that case. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, maybe I could move the whole table. Oh no, I won't. <laughs> oh dear. Undecided of Croydon. Well, maybe I will just slightly hold on. No, I can't. It's too heavy. It's a lovely big dining room table, so I can't move it. <laughs> oh, and I'll read the chat to you, we players. And here they come now. Good morning, Kat. And good morning, Brenda. So nice to see you. I, I don't know what part of the country you're in, Brenda. I can't remember, but I know Kat Hans in Florida, and so is Anne. It's not quite so hot up with you, Jean, is it? Oh, at the moment. Good morning to you, Jean and Anne. Welcome, welcome. And there's Barbara. Do you know, Barbara, I've got a feeling. I wound up Colin. I've been winding him up for the last few weeks. He doesn't seem to be working. I think he's going to have to go to a, a clock hospital, isn't he? A hospital, especially for, for clocks. A <laughs> blessing. My dad, I mean, how, it's probably 40 years ago since they went to the Black Forest. My dad had nurtured this little, it's just a little gimmicky clock. Nothing plastic insides but he'd nurtured it of course I I've, I've had it I don't know six months and haven't managed to save it still <laughs> good morning Marker. don't worry I will send Colin because that's the that's the one thing Ben said that he wanted to bring back from Colin grandpa's is is the cuckoo clock because um, my dad used to make it go round so it it kept talking to Ben. He used to love that clock. <laughs> oh, good morning, Barbara. Yes, you made it, Barbara. And breathe, <laughs> Barbara. Barbara Every and Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. We've got two Barbaras. One is not enough. Now, Barbara E, don't worry. Just relax back because you've probably had a busy morning. You just cleared the lunch pots up. If you fall asleep, don't worry. We'll be in the background keeping you company. There's Cheryl. Good morning. Healing vibes to you. Yes, it's the afternoon here. Ah, oh, Margaret O in London. I hope you've got your cup of tea. Mine's all gone. I have to wait till snack time now. <laughs> Janice, there you are. Good morning. It's all about two cans again, Janice. <laughs> what is it with these two cans? <laughs> There's Marilyn. Good morning, Marilyn. Really nice to see you. I'm just doing a little bit of um stamping. <laughs> I was all set up and I like to get some little bits of stamp fabric and that ready for when I need it. Oh. So nice to see everybody. I can just barely believe we're here again. <laughs> I love it. So where were we at? I was, mm, you cleared up, but you're so lucky. As you're unwell at the present and have a cleaner. Oh, well, I should think so. You, you've got enough, you're looking after people and Barbara, I think that's very wise. Yes, yes. You look after yourself as well, Barbara. There's Pam and Misty. Oh, hi, Pam. Or should I say good evening to Pam? Pam's already had her Monday. There's Morgan. So nice to see you, Morgan. Morgan was on Beth's live stream. And I, it was Morgan's first time here in chat last week. And when I saw... I'm just going to say hi to Peter. Peter, hi. Remind me, Peter, to talk about drones when I've just finished talking to Morgan. Um, you came in for the first time last week, didn't you? And 
I'm, I like read chats. I can't look at people's channels or anything. I'm here and I'm thinking, oh, Morgan plans. Right. That's it's obviously a family business, you know, planning kitchens out <laughs> like an interior designer. What am I like? <laughs> I went to Morgan's channel and you have a lovely channel and planner as in planners. Yeah, <laughs> it takes me a while. <laughs> And there's lovely Beth. I was just saying, Beth, you you and Morgan had a lovely stream, <laughs> didn't you, on Saturday, that was. There's Candy. Candy, oh, I'm so glad that you can be with us for a while. And here is Marty. Now, Marty with the snacks. Marty's bringing the trolley along. Anything from the trolley, dear? <laughs> Marty, I didn't know whether you'd be able to come into chat and see how did you shared with us last week that you had an eye op how did that go mm. planners and journals <laughs> what am i like morgan <laughs> oh thank you janice has shared your channel thank you when i was watching i was watching morgan last tuesday because i was trying to catch up with my chat just to see that I hadn't missed anybody. Kat says a big blanket hello and happy Monday to people. Kat, yes, I think so because you don't want to leave people out. I think that's very wise, very wise. There's Dar. Good morning, Dar. Oh, come in, lovely. Come on in. <laughs> I've got lots of seats, lots of chairs. There's Freddie. Freddie's sleeping away. We've had our lovely walk this morning. So when I was at Morgan's channel the other day, I on a it's Tuesday, yeah, Monday evening or Tuesday, I the desk is got has lots of stuff on it from doing the stream. And this was one of my papers from it's literally just tissue paper and I love to put it on the book paper and I was just doodling with pen and yeah you can see where I bred off there um it's lovely just to get all your scraps from the floor around you and the table and one of the things that Morgan was you was it flip through or something um thank you Beth dear thank you mm. Oh, well done. Yes, great, great. Um, one of the things she said, I found it interesting, and I've, I wrote it, I got my little typewriter out and wrote it down there. It says, my self-worth is not determined by others. My self-worth is not determined by others. And I found that really interesting and thought-provoking. My self-worth is not determined by others. Hmm. Interesting. So I thought I'd share that with you. There's Angie. Good morning, Angie. Come on in. Come on in. I do hope you're okay. Thank you, Peter. Um, Barbara, for reminding me. No, Peter. We had a trip to the Cotswolds because Ben had to work and he was using the drone on somebody somebody who owned a stately home and he was able to go up the top and use the drone. I just thought Peter would be interested in that because that, that's the sort of thing you do, isn't it, Peter? Especially by the sea. Oh, Peter wants to know if I use newspapers. Thank you, Beth, dear. Um, Peter, I don't use newspapers. Um, the ink tends to come off. I, I use magazines, a lot of magazines. Talking about magazines, I will be showing it later just before snack time. Janet gave me happy mail and it was wrapped in magazine paper, my square. There's a, there's a journal, journal pages right there, Janet USA. I was so pleased with it. Marty, oh, much healing, Marilyn says to Marty. I missed, I missed that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be brave and try and go back. I say brave because I don't want to, I don't want to press on it. And... Lovely Julia, good morning. How did I miss you? 
slipping nice and quietly. Um, it, I I missed all, all yes. Oh. oh, your coffee journal. Oh, it's lovely. That's a lovely cat. My, my niece would like that. Now, I've got the door open because it's a little bit warm. If the noise of the soaring, at least it's not banging, gets too loud, could you let me know? Because I do like the atmosphere to be quite relaxing for people. So there's the Sandra next door, which is like a meter away is having new windows put in <laughs> oh. so right let me sam sam's um commuting up to london now janice if, if i'm reading the typo in between the typos we love type knees don't we mm. freddie freddie um is a, has been a bit nervous of the noise this morning <laughs> but it, it's not as noisy as it was <laughs> right what have i been doing let me show you last week we were just having fun oh it was brayer of paper from the fabric painting that's what it was i remember now it's just gentle soaring outside <laughs> Oh dear, thanks, Jana. Hmm. So I I had no idea where this was going. So last week we simply had fun, didn't we? Tacking down fabrics and just painting on the fabric. I had no idea. And I love a project like that because. I can go, I go to sleep and I literally woke up one day and thought, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to sew round. Let me see if I can show you. Sew round like flowers, the little, the little bits of fabric so that I put on. This is creating a background, just like I did with my paper collage. And then I woke up one morning. I think I've been mulling it over. It's so nice to go to sleep with your um, with your crafts in the background. There's Alicia. Good morning, Alicia. And there's Janet. Janet Canada. Oh, we've got three Janets in the house now. <laughs> oh, and there's Dixie. Good morning, Dixie. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Mm. These are acrylic paints. Ah, oh, I'm glad you asked that because it's acrylic paint, but with fabric medium. So it makes it softer so the needle can go through. Glad you asked that because I this originally was just going to be for the wall, but now I'm making a quilt block, a large quilt block. Don't ask. I mean, really... The, it just evolved. <laughs> Art dreams are the best. I know, Alicia. Maybe it's when that last sleep of the morning. And, and, and then I got up and I thought, oh, I know what I, I know that I want to make it into a quilt block just to have a try. So then I used my Posca pens. I looked up online and you can use the Posca pens on fabric and if you iron it with a hot iron the it's the it sets the heat sets it good morning Joyce so nice to see you oh and and Marvel Comic Comics is oh for goodness sake I do know you you're Aaron's brother what what am I like come on in Joyce if you can't hear me I will shut the door. Hmm. I am reading Beatrix Potter, Janice. I went to the V&A exhibition. Ah, oh, wonderful to see the Beatrix Potter. Yes, there's Sylvia. Sylvia, are you at work this afternoon or, or are you at home today? Hmm. You can use crayons the same way. Oh, can you? And they iron on. What sort of crayons would those be, Janet? Because it's handy for the chat 
to have lots of tips and tricks to learn. Clint, let me say, good morning, Clint. Of course I knew that. You're watching and sewing, Angie. We'll keep you company while you sew. And you're, you make bowls. You're making fabric bowls. So last week, I, I, I had been spraying and putting inks that were water-soluble on it. And then I suddenly decided to, I was going to make it into a quilt block. So what I did was I washed it in cold water and all the ink and water-soluble bits I put on it came away and then I washed it in hot water just to make sure and so I washed and ironed it. It's the only ironing I do. <laughs> I don't do it. And it's got the African print on the back and it says safari. I love this print because it's it's both ways. You can't get it upside down. <laughs> Beeswax crayons for fab fabric crayons, pastel crayons, watercolour crayons. Some of these probably would set. It, interesting one. The wax crayons would be very good for using on fabric. And then you would probably iron them off. That would be batik. Mm. So, yes, it says safari because I'm sort of journaling on my quilts at the moment. Now, if you've only just come to the channel, I do paper stuff as well. And I'm very new to this. I think I'm very influenced by my American friends. Uh, I'm very new to this quilting malarkey. <laughs> Art ironing is so fun and satisfying. Absolutely, definitely. You iron the papers you die, I'm, I would imagine. So, yes, I'm just sort of thinking the process, what I've been through. So, yeah, and then I've put wadding and I've put that. So that's where I'm at with the background. And then now, so I'm trying to replicate my... I'm sure you saw it last week. Sure you saw the two cats. I'm trying to replicate, in we come, a little bit upside down, too big. I'm trying to replicate my paper magazine collage with fabric. So, let me, what did I do? I made greaseproof paper patterns for the leaves, the big leaves, and then I made the templates for the for the toucan. So this is his wing. Oh, oops. <laughs> There's the wing. The velveteen rabbit with your two youngest children this past week. Let me write that down. Velveteen rabbit. I I seem to remember that. Oh. The teen rabbit. Yes, I'm not quite sure who it's by, but wow, we love oh, especially Barbara um, chicken pot pie. We, we just love children's literature. <laughs> There's Melissa. Good morning. Oh, Janet knows that that one. Mm. You are in your hair. <laughs> So that was, that's the wing, and that, that started off, the whole collar, fabric collage started off with someone from in the, in the comments section. That's why I enjoy the comments section so much, and the replays are just so part of this whole stream and channel. I love it, and community. Oh, I know, it was Maria watched my paper one from a long time ago. Tell me to close the door if I need to, if the, uh, the soaring is getting too much. I had these, I had these little bits and pieces left over from a quilt. And then I said to Maria in comments, Gosh, I think I'm going to make a fabric one. I've made a paper one. So all those little bits I've sewn on and I've been using the 
what's it called? The shatiki or the Japanese running stitch. I've been using that. That's on the wing. You can see I haven't done it all yet. It's just very, um, eventually he will run out of wood. Well, unfortunately, I think there might be the plasticky windows, uh, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. If it gets too much, just tell me because we're all about relaxing. And here's the beak. I'm using cotton because I'm it's because the quilt. Um, otherwise, he could be. I could do another one in a picture and use sari fabrics, and it'd be much more colourful. But. Um, there's Karen. Oh, I've missed Karen coming in. Crafty Karen. Good morning. Yes, there you are, Crafty Karen. Oh, Crafty Karen. Your big Crafty Karen's got a channel and you did an amazing collage. Absolutely loved your collage. Isn't it interesting? You were on the same lines as the, the hop. You did a, a like a caricature. I loved it. I loved what you did. So there's his beak. And you can see I've made the beak with, where, at, where am I at? I've got all my things to show you here. Yes, some of these leftover strips that I made. I was making those with, that was Brenda at Mount Scrapmore, where you put them together sew along the line and then pull it out like that and then keep going. <laughs> it's Teresa. Someone else is working. Oh, it doesn't bother you. Someone else is working. We're not having to work. True, true, Teresa. And good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Becky. I think it was Becky and Ruth quilting on Anne's live room chat on Facebook that have got me into this quilting. <laughs> Janet, Janet, you agree. Oh, dear. Oh, yes, Karen, you're in Australia too. Oh, good, good evening. So, yes, that's left over there. It's nice to use your leftovers. That's the beak. So I cut it out in the tracing paper and then, and then I'm going to be doing that did we, did we say what that was, Shachiki? Thank you, Janice. Or affectionately known in the community as Yoda. <laughs> Shashiku. Bless you. <laughs> yes, Scott likes to sit down and watch people work. He doesn't get the chance very often, though, Becky. Is he, gone, is he going back to work today or is he still off? Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you gave her a starter library. Oh no, I love to give books to newborns. I love the hungry caterpillar and oh yes, some lovely, some we love children's literature, don't we? Mm. that's fantastic Barbara Barbara E is finishing up her a scrapbook that she made a journal oh that's lovely doesn't matter how long things take some projects are like that aren't they I it took me a long time to do a cross stitch for I started it when Ben was born and then I finally finished it when Sam was I don't know how old we get there in the end don't we <laughs> Oh. Oh, right. oh, that's so lovely. Oh, you get, oh, that is so lovely, Kat. How precious. You get, you, um, you, you took your grandson's little, little puppy, toy puppy, to the, to the, to the doll's hospital. I used to make doll's hospitals when I was a little girl. <laughs> Oh, Angie, take care. Take care. Your battery's low. Might see you later. No pressure, though. Mm. So, 
yes, I'm going to be doing some more borrow stitch. When I went to the, here's the body. When I went to the v &A Museum, the Victoria and Albert Museum, this lady, this, she was in the shop, the museum shop. Wonderful, wonderful place. And there was this lady with this tote bag. And um, it was wonderful. And what it was, was it was patch. So I'm going to replicate her shopping bag on here. It's the things that we see, videos, things that we see in nature. And when we're out and about, that inspire our art. Um, she had patchwork so and she had raw edges so I'm going to each square had a raw edge and then it came in this is this is why I'm doing it with the shashiku stitch it's like a running stitch so that's the body it's going to have a little head but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the head I might do that in the round ruffles not sure and this just sort of evolved this week. And then it's going to have some branches. And the branches I made by doing some of these in green. And then I cut them into three. Can you see that? And then I made, get, I got the iron out again. You've got to love the iron. Oh, is that Rebecca? Oh, Rebecca. I was watching your holiday stream, some of it, before I needed to come in here and get myself um, ready for the stream. So glad you're having a lovely holiday, Rebecca. <laughs> and Beth joined you. That was lovely. And then I folded it over and ironed it and made my own bias binding. So I've got the, these are the branches here. So let me show you. So to give it, I mean, seriously, it's, I'm only, this is only, thanks, Marilyn. Uh, this is only, I'm not an expert. It's just unfolding and I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. So I'm putting the leaves and I'm putting the branches on at different times. So the two can will go on and at different times. So to give it some depth and Yes, that's what I'm doing. This will get sewn on. I might actually put some stuffing in here to lift this up a bit. That might be quite nice. So I haven't got any more thoughts on this, really. It, that was just to take you through my, my process, what I've been doing. Mm. You have you do some, do you, Karen? Waiting to finish. Now you quilters among you. When you do a block like this, how do you stop it? It's got a bit puckered. I can only say a little bit puckered. I'm not going to get um worried about that because it's just gonna layer up, but it is slightly, slightly puckered. I, I'm not quite sure how one uh, it deals with that how how you stop that happening so I'm going to pile this up and this is the great thing now about this Cheryl's made some coffee <laughs> oh Gail Gail thank you so much <laughs> oh hi to you and Obi little Obi the great thing about this is I was on FaceTime with Katie Cat last night and you can just take this. So I took my bits and probably my needles. And that's all, all you need. You, it's portable. It's a portable project because I'm not going to put it together. So I will show you again next week and we'll just see how it evolves. If you have any ideas, let me know. That would be lovely. Just let me know. And, mm. Did I machine quilt? Um, I did machine around the little bits of fabric to make leaf shapes and flower shapes when I was creating the background. And then I machine stitched the embroidery anglais bits on. All the other thing I was going to say is... Because it's quite bright, 
Now it could have netting on the top, but I, because I'm going to make it into a quilt now, which would be equivalent of putting gesso on it. Um, hi, Ali, good afternoon. Come on in, come on in. So yes, what I'm going to do, which is going to be an amazingly relaxing thing to do, I'm actually going to borrow stitch the whole thing. Puckers and all. So these will come above. These will come above the shashiku stitch. So it's going to have it, and I think that will give like a whiteness and knock back that background. So that is going to be delightful. My week isn't looking as busy this week, so I plan to have lots of time to sit sit back and um, do some. Oh, uh, coffee is important, or a cup of tea. Mm. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. It's a work. It's a work in progress. So I can lace these branches in and out of in and out. So yes. That is that. <laughs> there we are. Oh, yes, Melissa. You're going to share some of your pages you've been doing. You've been doing the um, 365 book, haven't you? Mm. When you put the three layers together, make sure it's basted first before quilting. You use a spray baste and make sure it's smoothed out. Also, quilting from the middle helps. Oh, Karen, thank you. Well, my quilts, I've got two on the go now, one for Katie Cat and this is one for me. And I'll be able to see the progress and the learning curve. Karen, that is so helpful. Based them together. So either with, I thought that when I'd done it, because I put the uh, quilters clips on the edge and sew from the middle. Now, if I'd have asked my auntie Jennifer, she'd have probably said that. Janet comes in and says, yes, perfect, Karen. <laughs> oh, that's so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love it. It's like we're all just round for a cup of tea and just chatting with one another. Oh, I've changed the desk to this week. I'll make envelope out of the um, the other one with paint on. I'm going to share now a little craft. And this is Katie Cat, my niece, is going to be on the replay. And... She said, Jenna, have you shown them my flower penny idea from holiday? I said, I haven't. Now, Katie Cat loves her crafting. She's so good because she has such a responsible job. Mm. Don't finish the sides first and put the feeders down. Janet, Janet Canada, that's because that's what I did. I did the outside first. Well, bless me. A quilting bee. We're, we're having a quilting bee like we do at Karen Carol's stream, definitely. A walking foot is good if you, you machine quilt. A walking foot. I, I have um, a whole box of feet that came with the machine. Ah, well, Katie came up with this idea and she said to me the other day, have you shown it? So this section is dedicated to my niece, Katie Cat, who came up with this wonderful idea on holiday. And she's calling these. She was she straight to the um, basket. She's calling them flower pennies. Aren't they delightful? And they are for just for your sewing or to put on your little journals so and I wonder I said have you seen them before she said oh no I think she just made the idea up out of her head flower pennies I know so cute I I got out today this is an old penny 
when I was a when I was when I was a girl, when I was a little girl, currency we had old pennies and shillings and sixpences and threepences. And then we changed to decimalization. <laughs> Hugs to Katie Cat, who is working really hard. Um at her job, very um, amazing, responsible job, but it, during her downtime, she likes to do crafting. Mm. Katie Cat is not a scary cat, she's Katie Cat, absolutely. <laughs> so let's make, let's make a flower, let's make a, some flower pens. You can make them in, let me, let me get a measurement for you. They can be any size because Katie's one is like one and a half inches. But a, an old penny, ooh, an old penny, the circumference is just over one inch. A one inch and a couple of millimetres. So that is an old penny. That's This one is George V. That's the Queen's the Queen's grandfather. <laughs> oh, absolutely can, but it's still, oh, absolutely can. And I'm a great one for, I've said this to the boys, I'm a great one for starting at the bottom of the ladder. I don't feel any need to be an amazing quilter or painter, for example because I haven't practiced and I'm happy to learn as I uh, practice on. <laughs> but but um, I do appreciate the tips and the tricks. I, I, I listen to you in my head because Aunt Bex and Ruth, I mean, when Aunt Bex says this, the um, stitch picker is your friend. So when I'm unpicking and stitching, I, I think, um I don't I don't feel I just think well if Aunt Bex does it <laughs> it's good enough for me <laughs> so yes you can make little paper ones or little fabric ones and this was such a lovely idea and I I do believe Katie Cat did she send some to you Bear? Uh, let me Get that. Let me get some paper out. This is my table scrap journal. Katie, Katie Cow, Kathy Cow, you would have a table scrap journal, don't you? These are all the little scripts and scraps from the week. And I'm just going to make up. Shall I tear this one? Ooh, shall I make it flowery? I'm just thinking as I go along. I love working with scraps. I find them very inspiring. Scrapping Lizzie. <laughs> she loves working with scraps too. Oh, I love Lizzie. She's wonderful. Mm. Sometime you would like to see a shilling. Right, okay. I will bring a shilling and a sixpence. I think it was Kendra, I think. She had a relative that was getting married and asked if I could send um, a little sixpence once because they're, they're meant to be lucky for a bride to carry a sixpence. So I do have a tray of old pennies that that was from Papa's collection. Here we are. And this is gorgeous vintage paper. It doesn't really need any ink on it. And seriously, let's, ah, oh, wonderful. Let's just, oh, beautiful fabric there, dyed by wonderful Alicia fabric scissors. Mm. Barbara says sometimes she'd like to see dollars in her bank account. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Lizzie is. She is lovely. <laughs> oh, there we are. So I'm literally just going to, I have no set plan here. I'm just going to 
enjoy making some of these and enjoy chatting to you. I've shown you my two cans so that I did talk a lot. Apologise for that, but it was I wanted to share everything that had gone on this week really in my mind for my toucan. I am just getting a pin, this is beautifully sprayed fabric. They're Alicia, <laughs> hail to the head, she's the head unicorn, isn't she? She's lovely, absolutely wonderful. I'm just roughing up the edge, I'm getting a pin and I do like the edge to be a little bit frayed just fraying up the edge there. So I've, I've got a mix of paper and... So thank you, Katie, for this lovely idea. Very relaxing and very... There we are, I've made, it's bigger than a penny now. But there are no rules. Here's another one that Katie made. Katie. She was getting lots of bits and pieces from the bag and Katie made a paper clip. Isn't that amazing? So she's got the flower penny and she, by looking at some of my sewing, she taught herself to, um, thanks for sharing this channel, that's kind of you. Um, she taught herself to do the blanket stitch. Isn't that wonderful? And that was a little fabric painted flower that she found in my stash. So you can make them into paper clips. So these are great. These are great for people that slow stitch or they're great for people that do paper journaling because they can be made of either. Let me just, I'm just finding a button. And I'm, I do like to sew my buttons on. You can glue your buttons if you don't have a needle and thread handy. Nothing, there's no rule that says you have to stick them on. Meditative fraying. I know, I know. Oh dear. So lovely. The what? Jennifer said something as well. Jennifer said she's been not slow stitching, slow arting, which I thought was really good. Meditative arting. Just taking it. When you said that, that's really good. Mm. I say beautifully like Dame Edna. Well, Barbara, is that a compliment? I think not. <laughs> now I'm being compared to Dame Edna. Oh, thank you. I just need the glasses now. <laughs> oh, dear. You have some old UK pennies and half pennies. Your uncle brought home during World War One. Oh, that's amazing, Janice. I will shine them up. They, they get a bit yucky if you're in the uk we shine we shine the pennies sometimes by putting them in hp sauce brown sauce we put that on our sausages too but um it does shine them up a little bit let me see if i can find a date on this one 1919 that one so they're pretty old now i think that's some antique isn't it mm. There we are. Well, Katie, this is such a relaxing idea. She will she will come home. She's a very long day today. Come home and she'll be listening on the replay. There we are. Somebody said it's a very cute, a very cute idea there, Katie. Mm. <laughs> Cleaned in vinegar, yes, that's it. That's it, Barbara. Um, it's very vinegary, isn't it? The HP sauce, yeah. Popping them in vinegar because I have that for cleaning, yeah, probably would be wiser. I will clean some pennies up and I will show you some next week. There we are, a flower penny, and then that can simply have I got any pages? Let me let me. 
Let me see, have I got any pages? I don't think I've got any pages done in this book, but let's just add it to this page. I've got some purple there and there we are. That per this purple flower, I'll use the rest. That came from Devon in Happy Mail. So I'm going to use the rest. Miss Carol, good morning. Oh, well, Beth says, hi, Katie, for the re for the on the replay later. We're like time travellers, aren't we? I know. Oh, Coke, Coca-Cola shines pennies as well, says Julia. It makes you wonder what these products do to our insides, doesn't it? I know. I will shine some up. <laughs> there we are. And there, that's plenty of room for more journaling there. And I think I'll probably put that there because that is good. I will come back and I will finish this page later. I'll keep that together because I think that will make something nice on that page. Lovely. So yes, thank you, Katie. I'm going to make one more because I I would like to put one in Happy Mail. So I've got these two here. Let's do one to make the Happy Mail. Let's let's go round another penny, shall we? Got some coffee dyed paper. This is great for using up all those bits and pieces. Fantastic idea. Don't worry, it, there's no set. I just thought that was so inventive of Katie. You see a penny flower swap coming on. Yes, and it, they're beautiful to send in um, in a swap because they're very flat, aren't they? I'm just going to build this up. Shall I? I do like it. I do like the torn edge. Let me just go round here and see if I can tear it. Mm. You had a lovely channel full of people on Saturday. I watched the replay, um, Carol. Oh, because we were in the um, Cotswolds. We went to the Cotswolds again. If you want to look up the Cotswolds, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Absolutely lovely. It's where we had our holiday, not last year, the year before. Mm. It is. Thank you, Janet Canada. It is very sweet, isn't it? There you go, Katie. There's more. Oh, hi, Ben. Ben, I'm just doing Katie's idea. Katie invented these when she was on hol holiday with us. So I'm just showing everybody. <laughs> Let me get some fabric. Hi Ben, I was just saying to everybody we were in the Cotswolds. We 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 had a lift from Ben, didn't we? Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely old doors and windows to look at. One of the one of the buildings it said built in 14 something and renovated in 18 something. Oh, Ancient place. How lovely. I'm just going to. I need something blue in the middle. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, we had a lovely time. Quite a lot of traffic on the road, wasn't there, Ben? But we, we were there to keep Ben company. <laughs> Lovely. Each one is going to be a little bit different. Do you know, not a great one for inking the edges, but I think I will on this one. Mm. Is it really? That's amazing. A brown paper bag runs off wasps and hornets. That's interesting. It's, it's interesting to think that that actually works, isn't it? Hmm. I'm reading the chat. People are saying hi to you, Ben. Marty's saying hi. <laughs> I 
There we go. That's it. Pop that there. Just a little blue flower here, a bluey tealy penny flower. And I'm just gonna sew a little button in there. Let me get a button. There's one. Ooh, I've got a cupcake here. Just got a little, oh no, I think I prefer, I love the shell buttons. I think there's a simplicity to them. And I tie them on. Bing Crosby, Pennies from Heaven. Oh, I should know that tune. I will. Do you know, later on when I listen to that, I really will. Nickels. Nickels and dimes. <laughs> Here we are. I don't know how that works. No. I don't know how that works with the brown paper bag or the pennies to scare off um, wasps and insects. I'm not sure of the science of that, but... Um, we to question I like to leave yeah did I say I like to leave the ties I've just made another little penny button they can be flower penny <laughs> and it's just such a lovely relaxing thing to do I just little wipe my hands when you've been didn't your mum always used to say to you wash your hands when you've been touching money <laughs> $50 pieces Penny for your thoughts. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put all these table scraps. These are from last week's um, stream that I didn't use up. But they're going in there. Table scrap journal. Pop those there. That's an envelope from Kathy D. I made it into a little journal. Pop that there. Oh, not an envelope, a greetings card. Lovely. So I would like you to pop some numbers in because I've got some happy mail to give away. And my niece, Katie Cat, oh bless her. She would like to send um, some happy mail out too. She was sitting cross-legged yesterday making 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 happy mail. So yes. Popping your numbers, that's it. <laughs> oh, she's really sweet. Yeah, she, she bought some things from the works as well. Just little bits of paper and she likes pink. So she's been making things in pink. Barbara singing. <laughs> Pop numbers, Kathy D. I was just saying this, my, my table scrap journals made from your greetings card. <laughs> Pop it there. Yes. Pop a number in, pop one in for other people. You're putting one in for Laura, people that are here, that aren't here. And I have been remiss. I haven't said hello to the gentle listeners in the background yet. I'm so glad you're here. Come on in, come on in and do message me if you're not able to comment or and yet you'd like some happy mail. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Penny, Penny from Florida. Good morning, Penny. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Come on in. So we've got all the lovely replayers. I've got something for the replayers as well here. We may as well do all that while I've got the thing. Yes. <laughs> so we've got two lots of happy mail. We've got happy mail from me, happy mail from Lovely Katie, and I'll give her the address later and she'll send that off. But a lot of work into making a little envelope, she found it very therapeutic and relaxing. <laughs> 22 for the gentle listeners. Yes, you've got a number, gentle listeners, but do get in contact with me if you need some. I've got the replayers covered here. That you need some happy mail. <laughs> Sometimes it's just nice to have something come through the post. It's not a bill, just something small and happy. Glad to see you too. You 
you in the call because you're in Florida, I know. Mm. Oh, you put a number in for Lizzie and Julia's put one in for um, Je Jennifer and Dar. You put one in for Kimberly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, random, random number generator. Has everybody popped their numbers in there? Oh, Janet says stop. Yes, if there's a lag, some people might come in in a minute because there's often a lag. Not a, a Bill, not a William, not a Tom, Dick or Harry. <laughs> oh, my grandpa was called, um, his name was William, but they called him Bill. Well, <laughs> and Sam's middle name is William. <laughs> you like, like keeping names in the family. Right, shall I generate the number? Yes, let's generate the number. Number 64, who is nearest on or under? Okay, Candy came in after that, but that's fine because we we know that they're going to be people that come in after the stop. Sometimes you don't even see the stop. There's different lags. <laughs> Look at little Freddy over there. He's exhausted. I think the worry of all the hammering and banging is really quite noisy. We were trying to get in the flow this morning, weren't we, Flo? Who, who is? I wonder whether you could help me. Who is nearest? Teresa has 62. And, and Barbara, Barbara's being non-committal. I'm like that. I know, have you noticed? If I'm in a chat. I never say I think it's such and such. No, I will send that to I will send some happy mail to Teresa. How lovely. I'll show you the happy mail in a minute. Um, let me generate another number, and this is for Katie Cat Happy Mail. Who was nearest to 95? Katie Cat. Who was nearest to, that's it, well done, Teresa. I will send you some happy mail. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, I've just pulled another number, 95, and that's for um, Katie Katz, happy mail. Is anybody near, on, or under 95? If you could check for me, that would be lovely. There's Kimberly. Good morning. Do you know, Kimberly is always on time for snack time. Here she comes. She's been in the garden. <laughs> Got her cowboy hat on. Morgan was on, but one over. Is there somebody that's um, on an under, nearest under? Carol, Carol with, that's so lovely. Uh, Carol, um, magical touch. That is really nice. And I, I, if if you, I will talk to you if you don't mind me giving you, um, my your your address to Katie. But we'll talk about that on. Um, mm. <laughs> Rebecca's got a snack. <laughs> there we are. Oh, it's um, and you'll know that that's made with hands that care for others all day and relax by doing the art and caring for herself in that way and then quite happy to let it out into the world. Oh, you went off to get a tractor park with Paul. Farmers come home. <laughs> oh, well done, come in, come in. Oh, he was ruining your morning. <laughs> when life gets in the way. Oh, you're glad to get that, you love your tractor. Mm. Let me just, before we have our snack, I, this was Maria's idea in comments and I forgot to say, sorry if you've just come in, but if, if you don't want to do as big a project as this, Maria in comments said she was going to start off making a small heart. 
So same sort of principle, you've got your painted fabric, you've got leftovers and patches. Look at these, that was from Julia. Look at these little people, aren't they gorgeous? I've got some words that are going to go on that. So if you don't want to do a big project, you can start off with something small or maybe a postcard. Or you can do yours in paper, same principle. So that's this is the happy mail I'm sending off this week. A little postcard from all the scripts and scraps. <laughs> and there's I'm going to just be quiet can you hear the rain no birds no workmen but the rain isn't that relaxing you have the door open you have the door open three or four inches <laughs> Could you hear the rain? Hmm. You hear a baby bird. <laughs> oh, it's not raining. It's not raining with you, Julia. You're only up the road, aren't you? <laughs> It'll come over. That cloud will blow over. It's a little, it's a little, just a little summer shower with the breeze coming through. I shouldn't say that too much because I know. Yeah, you need the rain where you are. Kimberly needs the rain to walk to the garden. Oh, I didn't do the replayers. Remind me later. Oh, I've got the generator up. I may as well do that now. This is for the replayers or people in comments. I write your names down. And this is just a week's worth. I'm going to do it every seven days because um, I, I enjoy chatting to people in the comments and some of the replays that comment can't get to the live so i'm going to generate another number one two fifty four and i thank you for your encouraging and informative and chatty comments i do appreciate them number 10 so number 10 is kathy d so, Kathy D, I'm going to send you some happy mail. I'm going to pop that round there so I know. Lovely. <laughs> there. There we are. Well done, Kathy D. I popped that there. Thank you very much to everybody, actually. Let's get a snack, shall we? <laughs> Colin is broken, Dar. I know. Yeah, we can. Julia, I saw that. Yes. Oh, Morgan. Poor Colin. Don't worry. I will send him. I will take him to be mended. I will look after him. He's very old and not so... He's not that harsh. But, um, yeah. He's not a ground clock. <laughs> there we are snack time <laughs> he's lost his motivation he rests he doesn't like to get too hot maybe he's got a sore throat he's lost his voice <laughs> he's lost his tiktok right let's get first of all will you see when i say right can you see him do you want a snack freddie Oh, yes, you saw that. You know the word snap time. Look at his lips. You hear me say snap time, don't you? Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't be bothered to get up. Oh, dear. What's he like? Are you tired? There you go. He's had a good old run around this morning, haven't you? That rain's passed over now. It's just a little shower, just to water everything. There you go. That's Britain for you. Can't go anywhere on a holiday without a football. <laughs> Was that nice, Freddie? Was that nice? Can bring everything over. 
I got these sweets in Lidl and I'll nip those over to Julia because you were wanting a box to make a journal. So those were from Lidl, but I couldn't find them, could I, Julia, because the desk was literally covered in fabric and paper. Ah, right. What have I got today? I've got a recipe, vintage recipe, and my mum used to make it. Uh, but I ha you've seen them before because Jude, if you were on replay, I was looking for your recipe. Jude is in New Zealand. Oh, Julia's got the rain now. Oh, isn't that funny? It's blown over your way. Hmm. You're having Mountain Dew, says Alicia. <laughs> Kat's got her coffee. Stacy, good morning. Nice to see you. And Pom Pom, good morning. Really nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Come on in. You're just in time. We're just having a. Freddie's relaxing down over there. Just having a nice snack and a chat. Oh, listen. That is lovely. Can you hear the rain? I'm just going to light a candle while you listen to that rain. While we think about people who need our love and thoughts. Oh, there's some you can see. Taking a moment. Slowing down. Hmm. Here we are. Willow pattern, Alicia. <laughs> what have we got? Freddie's had his snack. He's had his snack, haven't we, Freddie? I have got Yorkshire tea and it's called toast toast and jam. Or as you would call it in the States, toast and jelly. <laughs> oh, no, it's it's willow pattern. It's nothing special. I think it, it it's literally it, secondhand. It would be it's hotel wear. It's not not um, porcelain or anything like that. But I do love the pattern, the blue and the white. Beautiful, isn't it? Very inspiring for our for our art, the pagoda. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful pattern. Not spode, no. Yes, yes. Spode is a is a beautiful make of pottery. Hmm. I think this one is dishwasher proof hotel wear. But nevertheless, I just think it looks nice to have your afternoon tea on a on a nice plate <laughs> hmm. how does the tea taste oh Pam yes um you know the normal Yorkshire one and I've got the nighttime one and I got the tea and biscuit one it tastes malty this one is really nice it's just got flavorings in it really no sugar it smells of strawberries so it's quite nice when you put it up to your but it's still got that the black tea element to it. <laughs> I recommend them. I really do. I have got, there's plenty to go around. There's more over here in a tin. There's a whole tin full. Don't worry. Mm. These are called melting moments. Do you remember these? Oh, I say June was telling me about a, a traditional British royal biscuit. She's over in New Zealand. 
passed down from her family and it, it they're called jam pennies and i thought oh jam pennies would go beautifully with our whole theme of flower pennies jam pennies but i couldn't find a recipe hers were like shortbread biscuits with jam in the middle i could only find the queen's special ones with jam pennies were little round jam sandwiches i know cat no i'm so good oh there's no sugar in my tea no no saying that for biscuit yeah i'm no saint <laughs> oh, dear. so yes a very in here these are wonderful biro it it must have been the make of margarine or lard or something i i never put the lard in i just use butter or vegetable olive oil buttery stuff it's just got flour caster sugar butter and an egg and then you roll it in coconut push your little thumb in it and then put some jam in the middle melting moments but just i i think i've shown you before but look at the lovely lady in her apron isn't that lovely and i've brought i've got a box out there and i'm going going to make a recipe card this might be something on the back so i might have to fold it out tea loaf that sounds rather nice so i think eventually this may fall to bits so that's a way of preserving preserving it i think mm, i'll think about that I just wipe my hands again. Mm. Thumbprints, yes, like that <laughs> in your biscuit. Oh dear. It, I don't think it's a biscuit because it doesn't snap. So it's more like a cookie. <laughs> mm. Mm. You probably be both. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do you, Cheryl. I do like to put a little bit of milk in my tea though. That's very British. I've said that before. It's gorgeous. Let me show you this. Have I shown you this one before? That is inspiring. Look at the colours on that. Mm, now that is vintage. Studio wear. So and it's got it, it's marked, but with an initial. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put it over there though, because I don't want to spill milk. Hmm. Mm. 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 I'm having two bites. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Excuse me, stretching over. I'll put it over there. <laughs> and I'll finish that later. Mm. That's that time. <laughs> Let me show you what's come through the Let's Box this week. Oh, this one first. This is from Meljoy. Didn't come. A little bit like a scone. Mm. It has got quite a lot of sugar in it, though, Marty. The biscuit. <laughs> They're lovely. And every day, a little cake. Mm. Look, got the, I, when was it? Wednesday. Freddie and I walked round to drop some happy mail off to Meljoy. And she said oh come on in come on in and that's the first time i've been in since lockdown so that was really lovely really lovely and she gave me some happy mail and it's the sort of happy mail you can't stop looking at you think and and then i said she's just been pittering and pottering and adding little bits here and there and it's one of those happy mails i said oh, how did you make it she couldn't remember so i'm thinking it's a file folder let's see if we can yes because those are folded and not joined so it's a file folder and it's got like a pocket here it's got bits and pieces look at this you can see this is made out of an envelope beautiful the words on there recover Mm. isn't it stunning i know morgan quite often melanie cut because this is a community craft space here um 
Uh, obviously, I have all you wonderful people coming in every week. I also have people physically coming here. But of course, we've been quite um, curtailed on that front. Um, but still, and this is the because of various reasons. A flip. Isn't that wonderful? And then pockets on this side. This is the sort of thing when Melanie comes back, I'm going to keep this out, please. When Melanie comes back, I'll recognise that bee napkin. Lots of stamping, lots of stamping with homemade stamps. This is one of um, a watercolour that Melanie did. It won't be long before Melanie can come back. Well, that would be lovely when she can. Russian tea cakes, mm, covered in powdered sugar. It's stupid that I only make them at Christmas. Russian tea cakes, I haven't heard of those, Alicia. Mmm, mmm. Tea and, and a brownie. Oh, you make your own brownies, don't you? What a lovely super treat. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Oh, Melissa, you make um, brownies as well, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. It, isn't it amazing? Isn't it? It's one of these. And then, so you've got the base, which is the three, which must be the file folder. And then you've got with that, what do you, you call it when you put the little tabs, tab binding? You've got like, there's a envelope a fit there and fabric a lot of texture going on there isn't that amazing so thank you Meljoy and we look forward to the time when Melanie can be back but there there are times and there are seasons for everything and yes that's all we can say times and seasons I have from Lucky Julia sent me a fabric postcard. Isn't it lovely? And she sent it through the post, not just handed over, which is lovely. I don't think I'm going to do this. I sent your one, um, Julia, but I don't think I'm going to do that in future because it nearly got lost. It took a week to get there. And I'm going to say Janet, USA's mail only took a week to get to me from America. Mm. Oh, I'm Morgan. But we're all together. And in the last couple of years, because of certain situations, we've all been in a little bit in the same boat as well, haven't we? Mm. we're all we're, we're crafting together it feels like we're together it really does <laughs> so thank you and I'm so impressed that you you did the blanket stitch all the way around thank you so much Julia absolutely lovely and I've made a little pocket out of a sweetie bag I couldn't find my print stick so I literally <laughs> Well, oh, the print stick was in my posting bag. I took it to the post office just in case anything fell off on the way. Becky, isn't it wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? I know. It's sort of quite spongy underneath as well. Hmm. Yeah. So I made like this. This had sweeties in it, in the Cotswolds. On Saturday, we went to a little old fashioned sweet shop and we all chose some sweets. And I thought, oh, that's lovely. And that's a lovely memory. Oh, you see how, you see how that feels? I mean, it sounds, it sounds lovely. Is that Mary coming? And I've missed you. Mary, oh, there's Mary, just there. This time lag thing. Hi, Mary. Yes, how does your garden grow? Oh, so nice to see you. Come in, Mary. I loved your 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 trip round the garden. Extensive trip round your garden. So many flowers and vegetables. And I'm going to put this pocket in here somewhere to glue it glue it into my butterflies and bloom journal. 
That's as you suggested, Julia. I love that crinkle sound too. So that's my butterfly and bloom journal. I'll pop that over there. So you can see I do use paper and fabrics as well. What else have I got to show you? Oh, I love showing you all these things. So let me, and then, do you remember we did the friendship? Well, Janet, it was on the prompts or something. And Janet did the friendship quilt block and it all went from there. And then we started to make them. Look at this wonderful, wonderful friendship quilt block from Janet USA. And there, it's beautiful. It's summery, it's sunshiny. Ah, oh, Lizzie, good morning. Lizzie, isn't it a wonderful postcard? Yes, and it popped through the letterbox. Ah, oh, so lovely. It sort of fluttered in. Ah, oh, mm. you Mary's off to the garden to do some weeding later. Yes, yeah. Oh, and your wildflower plot. Your garden's looking beautiful. I do hope you get some time to sit on the porch and enjoy it as well. Mm. So, yes, it's hand stitched, not machine stitched, hand stitched. So, extra love and care went into that. And in the end, six of us have been exchanging. Some people just one and other people two or three but six of us have been involved in the friendship square so that was lovely thank you Janet I I'm going to treasure this it's going to not go on Katie Cat's quilt it's going to go in my my quilt and Becky I'm quite interested in your picnic quilt that I saw you making on Carol's stream I was watching on my phone, so you know your little your little bit was only about that big. Um, I could go back and rewatch it, but I would love to see more of that. No pressure though, Becky. Hmm. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, Kathy D's saying it's beautiful. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, Janet says, you're welcome. That was lovely. Made your fingers and your wrists hurt, didn't it, making that? And the envelope. Oh, it's got my address on it. Oh, what am I like? Let me cover it up. There we are. Cover, I took yours off, Janet. Look at the envelope. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm. Wonderful, thank you. So, and both sides. So, I thought what a wonderful journal cover this is going to, going to make. And inside were all these wonderful papers. So, I'm, I'm thinking it was wrapped in this magazine paper. I'm seeing a journal right there. <laughs> right there and some a little envelope of ephemera so I'm keeping that together and I'm going to keep the envelope of ephemera out I'm because I was feeling a bit sad about this one coming to an end it's not coming to an end yet but and when it does I won't be sad now because I'm I get to make another journal <laughs> I will add some pages but look at all this wonderful texture and colour and thank you. <laughs> oh, um, oh, I will message you. I will message you because some, some people only wanted to do one, Becky, dear, but I will message you. Yes, some people just hadn't, some, but just had enough material, say, to do one and yeah, says Janet's note is going to go in my Butterfly and Blooms journal. I like to have lots of different journals on the go. <laughs> so we better do some prompts, but I just wanted to tell you a bit more about the... Oh, no, I'll have to tell you next week because we need to do some prompts. We can talk about that next week with it at the bottom. It'll, it'll still be here. Let's put my tea over there. 
This is my mug of the day, Jean. Lovely uh, one from next door, my, my lovely neighbour next door. Oh, no. Oh, Kathy, I will message you. Mm. No, no, no. It's some people just chose to um, just do one. So don't worry. And some people have chosen to do more than one. So no, you're not being slack at all. Not at all. <laughs> oh, there we are. You understand now. I'm just going to put that up. It's lovely to look at nice things, isn't it? I've got some shelves here when you're doing your art. Right, let's pick some prompts, shall we? Time for prompts, says Janet. Yes, stop talking, Janet. <laughs> Mary is enjoying. Oh, yes. I've been watching some of your catch up, um, Mary. And I noticed that um, you had you'd been doing the Tunisian stitch and you were wondering what do you do with yours, whether to make a box, sample box. Here's Ruth. Oh. oh, no stress. We're all friends, aren't we? No, no. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we've had that one more recently. No, that one's going there. <laughs> We're strict with the prompts. No, oh, we've had you recently. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not looking. <laughs> Seven. Let's see what we get, shall we? I love that. Let's take them. I love this. I wonder who made me that painted paper. I wonder whether that was Sana. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, isn't that interesting? 2022, yes. It just says pattern. That's a nice prompt. So pattern, so you can do this on an envelope, on an ATC. You can just gently listen in the background. <laughs> you don't have to do the prompts. You can do them in fabric. Remember when you did that route, you did it in fabric. That might be fun. I think for the minute, I will do it in the paper because I've done a lot of fabric today. Hmm. Did I do seven? Oh, hold on, cat's counting. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, I'll take the bottom one out. Oh, good job, someone. Oh, cat, when I first, seriously, when I first started to do this, oh, I did feel kerfuffling. <laughs> I really did. I needed a lot of help. Oh. You can do neurographic art. You can do whatever you like. I finished my neurographic art off last week. I didn't keep it in the journal. I made it into a postcard and sent it to Becky's mum. So, yeah. Marilyn, we are growing an empathy garden. Our garden here is an empathy garden. That's a gorgeous um, thing to say. How lovely, an empathy garden. I took you literally to start with, imagining you walking amongst lavender, but you mean the empathy we're giving one another is nurturing and blossoming. And, mm, says Jana, mm, putting on lavender. Mm. I like to have the smells here for you as well, even though you can't smell them of the baking and the lavender. Right, let's, oh, there you go. I just sewed a page. So let's turn that over. Pattern, wonderful. So, whew. let's, how lovely. I'm going to go. Straight to this Vogue magazine that I got in Happy Mail. Happy Mail. I didn't get it in Happy Mail. I got it on Free Cycle. Mm, to see some. Oh, take care, Mary. You have a good week too. I'm so glad. Oh, wow. 
that's really lovely. And you're, you're meeting up, you're going out with um, your friend to church, aren't you? I think that's so lovely. Very. How lovely. Pattern. Gorgeous. Pattern can mean anything. I just know there are some wonderful patterns and images in here. Wow. Let me have a little look through some magazines. There's Randy. Good morning. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Oh, a pattern jumper. Probably not the right season. The right season for our lovely friends in Australia. Oh, I love her jacket and the pineapples on her tie. Mm. Sometimes when you're looking through, you're not quite sure what you're looking for. Oh. How lovely. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I love that one. She's got a chicken in her hand. Oh, isn't that lovely? Is that patterned? You could say that the anything's patterned, isn't it? That's the pattern of the of the chicken. Oh, I th isn't that gorgeous? The pattern of the feathers. Oh, I love that. Oh, I absolutely love that. I'm putting that on there. Is it? Yes. It just goes to show anything goes. <laughs> oh, you put your sock knitting down. Takes too much brain power. Oh, and you're making mistakes. You you're probably got to the stage now, haven't you? Where you yeah. Very wise, Janet. Yeah, before you get frustrated, I will have to start my socks again. Or maybe that's something that I'll pick up when it gets more wintry. I'm not sure. Although I know in, when it gets very hot in hot countries, you don't pick up making your Afghans, do you? I don't usually put such a big picture in. And the embroidery anglais. That makes a beautiful pattern as well. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> So nice to see you. Oh, there's Mariah. Are you back from holiday, Mariah? I've been enjoying your streams where you've been collaging. Um, well, P has been collaging on the, the, what do you call it? The torso, the head. I love to do that. I've only ever done that on furniture and mirrors. I suppose I've done it on when I was working with the clients with dementia. I think I probably did some some of that with them actually. A lot of on paper mache balloons. <laughs> they used to love that. Mm. Your mum called. Oh, that's lovely. How's that going? The move and everything. Mm. Cheryl's in Virginia. Don't ask me why I've got a lady with a chicken. I think it's all this talk of gardening from Mary and lovely Kimberly. First prompt, Kimberly, is pattern, which works out quite nicely for a background, doesn't it? I do hope, um, Mariah, that you had a lovely time on your cruise oh, with hubby and, and your daughter, with a partner and your daughter. That's it's lovely. So much to take and pack, though. You get out of the habit, don't you? Did you take any art stuff as well? Do you have to pack art stuff? You don't have to. I mean, for your, you know, for your own sanity, you pack art stuff. There we are. Don't ask me why, but she's oh, and I haven't just tacked her down so I can put things underneath. Ah, oh, let me just lift her up a bit there. I don't know. There we are. I just like the picture. So <laughs> hmm. are you ready for another one? <laughs> you 
did, but you're happy to be home. Well, that that's that's lovely, isn't it? Home to your own bed, yes. Mm. If you can get it, yes. Mm. Mm. Alicia, dear, it's um, potato starch glue. So it's in a tin. And the boys laugh at me. So it's in a tin, so it's more biodegradable. But of course, you've got the air miles of getting it over because I think it's Italian. So I don't know. I don't know. I just felt I wanted to have something a little different. I still have my glue sticks <laughs> as well. Mm. You're expecting more rain. There's Lizima. Good morning, Lizima's in, in Florida. Morning. <laughs> Let's get another prompt. Mm. Oh, wow. This is lovely. Do you know, I like, it's obviously a collage I've done. Look at the pretty paper there. That's a lovely pan. Fairy dust. Wow. Interpret fairy dust how you want to. And if you want to do something different, ask for an alternative. But of course, flow. Put this one in. Come to the fore. Come to the fore, flow. This, well, this is your, your prompt. Come and sit on there. There we are. Look at you. If you want inspiration, look to nature. I'm going to show this again. Of course, it doesn't show up. Wow. If ever you get the opportunity to look at a real, I've shown it before, but the colour, the gold colour of the blue oh nature is amazing flow loves that flow says add fairy dust well if, interpret that how you want to if you want to go grunge you could have pencil sharpening um let me see if i've got any pencil sharpening fairy dust it doesn't have to be glitter some people don't like glitter let's see Sometimes fairy dust can come in many different, um, <laughs> it is, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? I, I'm, the lighting does not show up. And can you believe that nature has got gold in here as well? But the, oh, I suppose they call it peacock bloom. And I know, Mariah, you you are always um, fascinated by colour and mixing colours. If there's any way you could get hold of a peacock feather just for the sheer inspiration and wonder, I think you would love it. Mm. Oh, Morgan had to go and make some drop biscuits because <laughs> that mine looks so yummy. I'm the same, Morgan. Did you lick the bowl as well? Uh. Oh, Marilyn used to have a peacock, and her peacock used to be called Constantinople. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Is that the breed or was that his name? Is there different breeds of peacock? I'm not sure. Oh, that's amazing. Marilyn used to have a peacock. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. You have some, quite a few. And you looked into getting a stuffed peacock at one point. Oh, right. Oh, taxidermy. It's quite a thing, isn't it? Some people like it. Some people don't. Yeah, I, I understand. It's probably if you're into art and shapes and forms. Well, I haven't got much in here at the moment, but I do. Oh, I have. I'm going to do various bits of fairy dust around here. I'm going to put some, just so I cover all tastes. Some people have a no glitter policy. So I'm going to put some. We're doing prompts, Morgan, and the first prompt, they're very loose and just get you going prompts. The first prompt is pattern. So it's great for doing a journal page. So pattern, i.e. do your own thing, really. I've got some pencil sharpening. Pencil sharpening. Fairy dust there. 
But I just, because I have, that's a, oh, how, no. That, where did that come? This is like serendipity. It's like, there's a, it fell out of the basket. That is, is that part of the one? I'm getting confused now. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's not. Whoa, that is, it's a prompt and it fell out and it says use pencil sharpenings. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm going to put that in the drawer. We don't need that one now. Oh, that is so funny. Constantinople, our, your bird was, well, he was name was his name. And he ran and flew over the brook into the tree to sleep. Oh, Marilyn, that's amazing. Gosh. Hi, Nettie. Oh, Nettie, last week we had sloths as um, slow, sloth, sloths. What am I like? Uh, as a prompt. And that was your prompt. <laughs> So, yes, I'm, but I'm lucky enough that I have actually got some fairy dust all the way from America, and Flo looks after it. So I'm actually going to put some real fairy dust on here as well as my pretend. How on earth did I manage to get Alicia? How did I manage to get real fairy dust? crazy so lucky I mean I'm it's I'm lucky because I have a fairy that actually lives with me there we are there we are wonderful we knew that prompt would come up one day didn't we so there you go you have your bag there she's holding quite a lot you perched right let's have another prompt shall we oh look oh that's sweet this, this card, it says, have fun, love, Beth, August the 24th, 2021. Isn't that lovely? Oh, this is a lovely. Oh, this is really lovely. This prompt, it's a bit more like a concept, relax. Mm. I am your fairy godmother. I know, Alicia. <laughs> I am very lucky, Lazima, aren't I? I know. <laughs> oh, he's asking Stacey what, um, where she comes from. Oh, you, you met up with Anne, didn't you? Oh, that's so lovely. That is, isn't that wonderful? Relax. How do you want to interpret relax? Do you just want to write relax or get some pictures that remind you of relaxing. I'm looking through here. Oh, I've got a candle here. It's lovely. Because when I'm harvesting magazines, I tend to, um, I tend to pick pictures that make me feel relaxed. Hopefully you can find a nice cup of tea here or something. Friends, what helps us to relax? Fort Lauderdale. Stacy's in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, is Fort, oh dear, is Fort Lauderdale in Florida? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just looking through here for relaxing. When you think of relaxing, what do you think of? Ooh. Hmm. Got knitting there. Beth's in Edgewater. I'm reading it out so the lovely people that are gently listening um, and the and the replayers don't have to read chat. Oh, flowers. Oh, how relaxing. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Are you the beach? The beach makes you feel relaxed. I'm gonna write these down. I love a list. Of what things make you feel relaxed? Oh, I'll write it on here. The beach. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Just in case anybody else is able to let me know the, the things that they think of when they find when they're 
hear that prompt what helps you relax you've got all oh, you never know what you've got do you when you've got bits and pieces Ooh, lovely tea and biscuits mm. lovely this is just in my folder of mm. Oh, or I've got a big mug of steaming tea there. Mmm, lemon tea. Oh, that says winter warmer, but yeah, let's see. Let's rehearse that. It's just nice to have a few bits ready and cut out in a little homemade folder. So I've got that one. Oh, I've got tea and biscuits. Mmm. So I've got a candle. Let's get some... Oh, trees and sand. Oh, help you relax. Oh, how lovely, Lazima. Trees and sand between your toes. Mm. Oh. oh, Nettie, I do hope you did feel relaxed when you're on your holiday. Just so you know, you have not run away. You're gently listening. That's so lovely. Oh, you, you're, you're sitting with Papa and gently listening. That's wonderful, Lizzie. So nice to know that you're you're there and that, so lovely to know that your daughter, who we were thinking about, is is healing up and oh that's lovely. Yeah. We did have her in our thoughts and prayers, definitely. I've got a candle that always helps you relax. And I've got the scent from these gorgeous flowers. That's going to help us relax. Um, Candy says, Randy, how are you? I'm reading the Taipanese. Um, we get used to that Taipanese, don't we? No criticism there, Candy, do you? We'll do that, yeah. Let's get some flowers. Oh, I'm loving this. Just a mixture. The prompts are just like a, a start of. Nettie, you got home at midnight from your holiday. Oh, that was a late. A late, a late one. And are you like me when you come in like that? You, you can't go straight to bed can't go straight to sleep you have to sort of have a cup of tea or relax a bit and yes maybe open the letters that are waiting for you I think I'm going to put the knitting in because isn't that lovely gosh it's all lovely I sort of haven't got enough room for it. No, I'm not going to put it in because I haven't got enough room for it, but I will put a nice cup of tea in there because that helps us relax. Music for relaxation and meditation. Yes, music is so important. Yes. Yes. Let me just, I think I might have missed some people. So I'm just going to go back up. Back her up. Mm. You've been since three, so you've had coffee. Oh. Oh, Randy, yes. You, you relax back. You relax back. Bird song, bird song. Because I can write these on. It's not like me to journal, but now I tend to do that. I will make a little flippy card thing and write that down. Bird song, Morgan. Yes, yes. Oh, Randy, I do hope that we can help and help you to relax. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. You love the birds, don't you, Cat? Yeah, definitely. Can't hear birds singing today outside. Maybe the rain scared them off. I don't know. Or maybe in the banging earlier. It really was quite noisy here, so I'm I'm glad. The tea and biscuits. I actually now I think that's the wrong colour. Look at me thinking and not just slapping it down. I think 
that's too bright because I've got like a, a country feel going on here. The candle. Got a country sort of feel going on. So I'm going to, that will go on someone's envelope. And I'm just going to leave it at the candle, I think. <laughs> right, what's next? We've had fairy dust, we've had that. Oh, I love this one. Chat choose. Oh, I love that when the chat chooses. Choose a prompt chat. I, I put that one back in because I think it's nice for chat to choose. And if I don't choose yours, I'll make up a card and it will go in the beautiful picnic, little pic, mini picnic hamper. So chat choose a prompt. So how many have we had? One, two, three. Am I being slow? Probably I'm being slow. See, the more relaxed one gets, the slower you become. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to wait. So there's a, a little, little lag and people are busy relaxing or they're busy crafting. Can you, the sound of chickens, that's relaxing. We said about that last week, didn't we? Can you chat? Can you give me a prompt, <laughs> please? That would be super. <laughs> um, oh, hold on, you probably have, and I'm not, yes, no, hold on. Yeah, you have. See, they all Posca pens. Oh, Posca pens! You know how I love my Posca pens. Add a cow. Add a cow. I love that. I'm writing them all down. Paint pens or paint pens. Yes, paint pens. Add a piece of fabric. I'm going to take the Poscas because that came up first. I think I'm writing them all down because they all go in the basket. I love that. Tea bag, love that. Mm. A hat, ooh, we haven't had that. A hat, I love that. Add a cow, that's very Janet promptish. I love that. Add a pig, add a pig. I'll put that down. I think I've got that one in there for you already. I'm just going back just to check. That I haven't missed any any of your suggestions. I don't want to do that. Kate, Kathy's just stopped in to say hi. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> You're in the store. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I don't think I missed anyone. If I missed you, tell me again. Ooh, lace, lace. I'm going to take a, the next box is postman because I saw that. Yarn. Ooh, you're giving me lots of prompts to go in the, in the, in the, uh, yes. My dog is named Freddy. Look at him with his white socks. Posca pens. It's like a dream. Yes, all those are going, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, Posca pens are great for doodling. I, I'm going to do what? I normally do and use my big ones here. I love them. They just it's lovely for doodling. Hmm. Got the ones of various sizes. I don't think I've done that fully down. Oh, make sure I've got I've got you've got glue on the page, so be careful. How lovely. I will come in with more Oscar pens because I will be sitting here doing this um later. <laughs> oh, fourth, because we need two more. Ooh, controversial maybe, but I love this. Mary showed how to do this technique on one of the streams once. The next prompt is orange. Is there a pen alternative? Um, Posca pen, yes, use any pens that you want to. What I, um, my favorite pens are the Posca pens. I like my little set of Posca pens, but seriously, 
Oh, do I know this one? What's this one? No, you use that's a Posca, but it's in the wrong place. Yes, I'm itching to doodle on this page. I know. Oh dear, I don't know. Yes, use any pen. Do you fancy any any? Does that help, Julia? Any pen? Tell us your favourite pen. You've probably got a little make of favourite pen there. Oh yes, yes. Hmm. Oh, so what's the next part? Orange and orange, and then I continue. I was distracted myself because I found the bronze Posca pen. I haven't been using that. Ooh, lovely. Now you can see my piece. This no, we're just doing this for relaxation. We're not doing it. For other people to see. No one needs to see your work, your play, if you don't want them to. We're just friends together. Gosh, how relaxing that is to go it. Oh, wonderful. Doodling heaven here. On her pattern of her dress, it might not look amazing, but I think I'm going to have such relaxing fun. Just doodling that pattern on her dress. Why? Just because I can. Julia, did you come back and tell me what pens you liked? Mm. I like orange. I, I do. I love orange. And yellow. Oh, I think I love all colours. I think I love all colours. I think I've got an orange pen, but I'm not going to use an orange pen. I'm going to, what can I use? Orange. Oh, I'm going to get my little, oh, no. I need some orange ink. Have I? I've got a few inks up here. Oh, that's yellow. I thought I had orange. Maybe not, because it's nice to it. No, I haven't got that. So I am going to make some orange paint up and see if I can flick some paint on it. Why not? <laughs> orange like a fox pom pom. Absolutely. <laughs> Morgan loves the colour orange. Lovely. Let's flick some paint. Let me give you the last prompt because it's getting quite late, and I know that some of you have to nip off. Um, the last prompt is polka dots. Now, if, ooh, if you would like to pop in a number, I'm just going to ooh, pick up some orange paint and I'm going to flick some paint around just because I can, polka dots. So that's a night, it might be polka dot paper, polka dot doodling, popping a number in, I'm loving it. Uh -huh. You're waiting till I've finished and we then we can go over on the bus to Rebecca on her holiday table. Over to Rebecca's, how lovely. We would love to, ooh, apron, although it is watercolour, not quite so vital, but I got it over my phone and the computer last time. It's just a good discipline, isn't it, if I've got the, look at Freddie. Thank you for Jennifer. I know it, oh, it goes too quickly. It goes too quickly. I know, Kat. Mm. Lovely, you're popping in numbers. That's really lovely. Oh, well done, well done. Let me, where's that little brush? I thought, oh, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can do. Oh, lovely. 
how lovely and I had to wait for that to dry to do more doodling on it won't I hoping you to say you watch the replay oh cheers Jean this is the mug of the day and the song of the day was something about pennies what was the song of the day I can't remember mm. lovely to see you Jean <laughs> so glad you're home now oh now that's a rather a lot of water i will be making when the when the stream finishes i won't be wasting this paint i will be oh that is very satisfying i will be um orange like the sunshine kimberly i shall be making some dainty paper how lovely Oh, I made a oh, I made an ATC card to put in Happy Mouth. That would just be oh, that just adds that certain something to it. Seventy two for Sylvia. I I got my fingers in the paint and I'm splatter splattering. I'm I'm channeling my inner Sylvia. <laughs> Thank you so much. And there is the link for Rebecca's channel. We can nip over. She'll be streaming and she'll be, uh, she's on her holiday. Her sister set her up a table, bless her. And you can see what, there's the little splashes on that. It says, dreaming of, of the ocean. That's going to be my happy mail to send a little happy mail to someone. Let's generate a number, shall we, before we lose them. Thank you. It was Bing singing something about a penny, wasn't it, Janice? So I was just telling Jean our song of the stream. Um, I would, oh, Janice has put the link in. I think that's the link for the song. Pennies from heaven, raining pennies from heaven. Oh, I don't want to forget that. I need to write that down. Raining pennies from heaven. I love that. We. We do need a song of the stream, don't we? Mm. Right. Um, let's pick a number between one and a hundred. Oh, how do you get it to? You know when you've done something. Oh, between one and a oh a hundred there. Thanks, because I'm rushing. Don't rush, Jenna. Hmm. Thanks, um, Barbara. Number 49, who was nearest to 49, on or under? There's Rebecca. Thank you, Janice. Oh, Janice, <laughs> never say never. You can, you did, you're wonderful. <laughs> Create with Rebecca. Create with Rebecca. It's because I call you Rebecca. Oh, you have got Rebecca on your mm. Mm. We um we'll we'll hop on the bus. <laughs> oh, who was um nearest um nearest to number forty nine? So I can send some happy mail to to you. I always I've got some happy mail. I've made made this or um, an envelope. <laughs> Dar, how lovely. Oh, Marty was 49 and a half. Oh, Dar, let me send you some happy mail. How lovely. I will send that in the post. Post haste. I will be making envelopes tonight with all the lovely bits and pieces. I've had, ah, oh, I, thank you. I have had so much fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Da, I love to send you happy mail. That's really nice. And saying goodbye from little Freddie. You ready to say goodbye, Freddie? Gosh, didn't even look up at his name. Only looks up when I say S N A C K time. Ah, oh, well, thank you, Janet USA, for popping the prompts in there. Just use them loosely, just just to have fun and. And remember, no one needs to see your picture. It's just 
So it's just for fun. Oh, look, orange and sunshine and mm, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> and I'm going to be making a list on here. I love to journal on here now, some of the things that help you relax. <laughs> well, yes, Nettie. Welcome home, Nettie. Um, get some rest now today. I'm so glad you had a lovely time and you met Anne in person, didn't you? Mm. Marty, I love Friday mornings too. Thank you, Becky. It truly was fun and really relaxing, really relaxing. Marty, sending you healing vibes for your eyes. Mm for your eye and it takes it out of you the trauma of it too sending you loads of love kimberly says everyone take care and that's everyone the gentle listeners you lovely replayers it's been absolutely lovely cat no thank you thank you for coming and and lizima thank you for coming as well all the florida girls uh, girls ladies are have been here it's lovely and people from australia and new zealand and ah oh, it's wonderful mm. take good care everybody it has more than it has been a wonderful start to the week dana hi so nice to see you dana really lovely you have a good week dana have a creative week dana mm. Yes, yes. Karen, look forward to seeing more of your collages. No pressure, no pressure. It was, it's, it's lovely, lovely to find your channel. Mm. I will leave a link. I can leave a link if you want to find Crafty Car Karen's channel. It, I will do that this evening because I'm just going to have a little chat in Rebecca's now. <laughs> I will put some links in. Always plenty links in the description box for you to follow. Night, night, Pam. Sleep tight. So nice. So nice that you were spent your e your Monday evening with us. And and oh yes, feel better, Colin. He's feeling really hoarse. Hasn't got even energy to tick. I know. Ah oh, dear, Margaret. Margaret in London. It has been relaxing, hasn't it? Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in videos and comments and live chats and mm, love and crafting relaxation. Ah, and that it's really healing your jaw. Oh, Marilyn, good, thank you. Just relaxing with one another, it, it, it is a healing time. Mm. Headed to Rebecca's, brilliant, one fantastic. Janet USA and Pom Pom, goodbyes. Really nice to see you. Ah, yes. Night night says Cheryl for those going to sleep. Yes, yes. We're a worldwide community, aren't we, Cheryl? Healing love to you and Pierre too. It takes me a while to say goodbye, but I don't want to miss anyone. Night. Bye, Alicia. Night, night, John boy, <laughs> says Alicia. Yes, do, do, do nip off now. But I just stop and make sure I say goodbye to people. If I haven't, just sort of tap in caps. But I am looking now. <laughs> I'm sitting back. But say goodbye, but I'm sitting back so you can see Freddie, because Freddie is the most important mm, person here. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Right, better put the phone down. Shut up the phone down. <laughs> oh, take care, everyone. Do hope you're... Oh, look, Freddie says it's the end. He's getting down. Getting down stretching now. Oh, is it finished, Freddie? He says it's finished. <laughs> oh, Joe, it's really lovely. <laughs> oh, he's by my side. There's no banging now, but he just thinks it's finished. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Bye, Janice. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether you can hear me once I press that button. Oh, he wants another walk. Yes. Bye, Janice. <laughs>